Okay, I think I'm gonna try to play my one page bulge that I had stored. My brother found it and gave it to me after some years. I played it before. I think I'll give it a shot and play it again. I really enjoyed this game and I really enjoyed Mr. Jackson's accomplishment of having all the rules on one single page in a nice little box. I'll show you the components in just a so second. The components. Um, mine came in this little plastic box from years ago. Very handy. That's why I still have it, I suppose. Uh, I still have the game. Um, and I cut out all the things that need to go. I played it years ago. Here's the little pieces with very basic designations. A turn record chart you cut out with some spe special rules. Historic, here's the map. Cut out the map. Sorry. Here's the map ready to play with a lot of details about, simple details. It's a simple game, a little bit of color, but not much. And could set up instructions on the side. And I remember it to be very playable, so I'm gonna give it a shot and maybe talk about the Battle of the Bulge when I do it. And um, on the back, Mr. Jackson and HP put the, uh, some details about the game. One of the things they say is that, um, that they, they kind of had a um, challenge to make put all the, the rules onto one single page, which they accomplished. And then, and these, this, so this page has historical notes and advertisements and a map, so it's bigger. But the actual rules are sure enough on an eight and a half lit, eight and a half piece of paper. There's one side, and here's the other. And then he got all the rules, including optional rules for some uh, optional rules for bridge blowing, air attacks, and defending bridges, etc. And I guess if you could say that he put his um, turn record chart on a separate piece of paper, maybe then that was a little bit cheating to get it. Well, um, uh, instead of on one page, but I think I think they've made their accomplishment and I think they also made a very playable game Which I will play and Dictate as this video Okay, here's on. the um, a setup uh, After the game I only took Maybe 20 minutes to read the rules and I'm ready to go The game is set up to where all the, the original Places of the first units are already designated and easily found the units are simplified by simply having a combat factor and a movement factor associated with them. And the rest of the map board is, is closed right now. All we have is the initial deployment of the Germans and the US. That would be on turn December 16th, at the beginning of the battle. There'll be some German reinforcements that come in at that turn as well in the German reinforcement area. The Germans, I would have read the historical information on the back of the map to talk about it, but I can't get to it. I don't, the map has that on the back side, so it's not, it won't, be, it won't be available, but we know that the Germans used infiltration and, and, and a lot of hidden movement to deploy these units where there was a thinly defended allied front. The bulge, as it were, was bulging out. The front was bulging out. And so they were gonna push out and <clears throat> hopefully their goal is to cross the Meuse River with 70 factors and with also obtaining victory points for supply points like these. So, which also count in that. So there you go. That's the German initial turn. Um, looks like they've advanced across the river here. Which name I don't remember. <coughs> and actually taken St. Fifth and advanced here. At this point, the air power was used to defend, and actually, they lost four divisions of infantry on the north here by Monchal trying to push through the force. They didn't make it, they were actually eliminated. But all these other attacks were successful driving <coughs> the Americans back. And these units were preserved instead of lost. Here's now the Allied first turn. 
uh, decided not to do any counterattacks because the, 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 it would be difficult and rather trying to solidify defense, pulling back a little bit. <clears throat> Here we're going to stay because you don't have to attack when you're adjacent to somebody, but across the river and not necessarily attack. <clears throat> the armored unit can't go into the forest, but this one ha had to pull back because of being exposed to, to a heavy attack. He's not able to counterattack there. We're bringing up some units to the rear and there was no air factors left. We used those in defense of this area. These units remain after being <coughs> surviving the attack are able to fall back and defend these areas, especially this important supply point right there. Okay, this is the situation after the December 17th turn, the Germans turn. Our allies still have to play. Um, looks like <coughs> looks like a totally open field right here. The Germans have broken out and eliminated units, and all they have is open ground in front of them. Looks bad. <coughs> so, and we should, and they seize an ammo supply point and the point, and a petrol point is right there. This person right here could try to some move in such a way to disrupt their supply, perhaps. Uh, that's still an option for allies. But all across the front, this second day in December looks pretty um, stark and depressing for the allies. Okay, this is the situation at the end of the Allied turn on December 17th. We're rushing in what might be reinforcements from the 9th Army, I'm not sure. I was trying to research that, but then right here we have, we fell back in the back and on the south. We are able to maybe some, some kind of defense, maybe also if we could destroy this ammo supply point before it gets captured. We'll see. Then here we're able to throw together a real scanty defense, perhaps to slow down the advance of the Panzers. We had a free reign all the way across the board. Managed to throw a couple units in the way. We'll see how that helps. Uh, the chances of this, this one, I have to give up that one. And this unit, I haven't moved yet. I would try to determine what to do with him. I forgot about him. That's the end of the situation after the German move and before combat. There's the picker of ammo supply points, so they'll get plus one. Um, Movement factor. Looks like I'm gonna. This is gonna be automatic elimination. And here it looks like we're gonna be in trouble here. Not automatic, but maybe. But there's three air factors to commit, so we'll see what happens with that situation after the German turn. Um, looks like um, this unit survived, was able to retreat, tank unit, and it doesn't have to attack because it's across a river, it's so voluntary, so it's able to retreat to that location. Uh, this unit was just eliminated, that unit was eliminated, and again, our situation looks pretty dire for the Americans after their turn, but let's see if we can pull off some kind of defense here and their turn. Here's the <coughs> situation after the Allies turn before combat. Oh, this unit may move. I haven't moved him yet. Anyway, uh, there's some elements of the 7th Army that showed up north of Liege came in from other parts of the battlefield and are able to probably try to make a defense on this river. <clears throat> this armored unit and then um, two armored units actually made it here to make a defense at this point. Perhaps uh, on these bridges trying to prevent, hold the bridges. We may have a counterattack coming down here and around Beston. And we destroyed this army supply point. I have some units here that still need to move up. I haven't moved. I'll move them up too. So there's a little bit of movement left. Okay, this is the situation after the December 18th turn. So you see that the, um, the counterattack here was driven back. This guy's had an attack retreat. Back here, the Germans are a little slow to advance. I think I failed to attack, given an attack order. 
So they moved up, but they didn't attack. But the uh, defense is solidifying on this river here, so it may be a little more difficult for the Germans to progress. Here's their objective. Again, they got to cross the Meuse with as many units as possible. 70 points would be a victory, a decisive victory. These guys got held back a little bit trying to beat a unit that was threatening the rear lines. So even though it was defeated, it did serve its purpose to hold back some units, some German units. So there's the turn after December 17th. December 8th. The situation at the beginning of the December 19th, 3rd, we see uh, Germans back in the back and some, they're lined up here. Looks like there's a, a defense along the river and things move along real well with this one page bulge game with generic pieces. Notice we just have like three different types of units, four fives, nine sixes, five, just, just tanks with simple two marks. So it's kind of feels like a military chess game and it moves along better but it does follow the battle pretty well so here let's see what happens December 19th after the Germans um, move before combat on December 19th we have a battle here and trying to, to push through across the river here here and there with another battle there these units are coming up from the rear and these units will attack there okay here's the uh, um, situation after the Germans attack. This is a, a <coughs> using air factors that were available. The Americans were able to hold the Germans at the bridge here, although they did cross there, but <coughs> this one they weren't able, the Germans made it across. Successful attack there. This one, again, air factors helped make this a successful repulsion. These had to, re attacker had to retreat. In this case, <coughs> This man also, they were, this unit, they also used an air factor, so he survived with a no effect, so he's still there holding the bridge, but quite, but probably having to just retreat. So, <clears throat> air factors were decisive in this turn. So, depending on the weather, it could have been an effect. So, the German advance is slowing down at this point. December 19th, even after the Americans' movement turned before battle, actually going to be brave and try and counterattack at this point and that's going to leave us kind of thin on our defenses but we could combine enough to maybe to get a two to one factors so this way i was able to flee out the side and maybe threaten the supply line of the germans there so <clears throat> that's the situation after their movement before the combat. situation after combat with the americans the only battle was the counterattack north of Bastogne here. <clears throat> and it was there was simply it was an exchange. Each one lost a unit. An infantry division was lost, but the position is still held by the Germans across the river. So <clears throat> that's the situation that this game plays fast. So you're able to go through the turns really quick. No other units there. There's our defensive line and there's the line at the rear. <clears throat> okay. This is the situation after the movement of the December 20th turn for the Germans. You see we have them trying to break through here and trying to redo the battles here. This unit was able to move forward one, given the rules. So trying, still trying to break through to the Meuse, which is right here. This ago we had some reinforcements come in that are coming up from the back. We box this guy in a little bit, but might he, this unit still might be a threat. And attacking here, let's see what happens with the attack. Of the, here's the results of the German attacks. They're able to advance across the river here at um, Urbom. And this unit pushed down, but there was a no effect. But it's still, this unit's isolated. So here the attack came across, but uh, there was an exchange. So the Germans lost a tank unit here. So this attack is getting is weakened. Um, they were able to push across here. This attack eliminated a unit. So these guys are able to advance. So but there's, they're far from the Meuse, but but they're able to bring up the rear here, so that might help the Germans too. Situation. There's the situation after the Americans move. They are able to bring some units up as reinforcements, but just a sparse few, not many. And so here we're having a desperate situation. We're having a one to attack here. These guys pull back and they'll have to attack there at bad odds. I'm not sure what they are. This guy, we may do an attack here. You don't have to attack across the river, so that might result well, since this unit is surrounded, he might have to 
be attacked twice, perhaps, if he can't retreat. This guy's going to try to, this unit's going to try to hold the road a little bit more. But it looks desperate over there with these strong units pushing through. So we'll see what happens. Here's the situation after the Americans have had their combat. These units were eliminated, so that looks like um, these units can't move in the, into the forest. So they'll have to come this way, but still, it may pays the way. Uh, these units were able to drive back the Germans and, and even on one to two odds, so that was successful. This, these units were, uh, the attack was unsuccessful. They had to retreat, and he could retreat this way because you don't have to take across the river. And so that was good in some ways. Still, we have a defense, and a defense here, but it's pretty sparse. We're bringing people up. There may be more reinforcements coming on the 21st that in this area, so that might be helpful. So there you go. This unit is still trying to threaten the rear. Okay, this is the situation before the December 28th second turn. Let me see, <coughs> there's the units up here laid out. The Germans haven't moved yet. There's gonna be five factors of air factor and some reinforcements coming in for the US, but not for US units, but not for the Germans. The Germans are in a good situation though, but these, these reinforcements may turn the battle. We'll see. This game plays really well. As remember, it's one page bulge. You really don't have to look at the rules once you've learned them as much. It just plays, uh, goes well and just plays fast. It's a shame that this, I did this 30 years after the, probably should have done this review 30 years ago, but you didn't have an iPhone and the means of doing simple videos on your own back then. So here we go. I'm almost done. Here's the situation after the German move before combat. Looks like we've got, we seized this 20 point supply depot. So that's a major victory point right there. Victory. Probably gonna drive these units back. We're putting a lot of strength, taking them both across and on the other side of the river. These units dissipate, driven back. These as well, all the way down the line. This attack here is weak, so it could be that uh, it may not work. With the five factors that the air factors, there may be some way to turn some of these battles around for the U.S. And these units are kept here because anticipating some units coming in from this area down here, we might want to keep our supply lines protected. Okay, here's the situation after the Americans move on the July, December 22nd, turning with their reinforcements. <clears throat> they lost those two armor units, so they, but they had three more come in. Still going to attack at a one to one odds here. They managed to get 24 to 22. Can attack one to one there. And this guy, these two guys will hold the defensive line on either side. Perhaps with this line of units, they'll be able to hold back. But it's necessary to go ahead and attack these because this is already a German decisive victory. They have 42 victory points plus with the captured ammo and supply depots. And this is another 32 units, so that's 72 across the Meuse. They're, they're a decisive victory now. So and some of these desperate attacks are necessary to prevent a high-level victory of the Germans. We have some units rushing up from the rear to try to shore up defenses and drive back the Germans. So we'll see what happens. Okay, this is the situation. This is the situation after the Americans uh, have completed their combat. Uh, on the December 22nd turn, there was a no effect here, so these guys, these units are able to hold on, and maybe with more units coming in on the 23rd, they may be able to push Germans back, although the Germans are getting some reinforcements, but not much time for them to move all the way to the front and, and across the meter, so we'll see. But anyway, and these defensive units might be enough to hold these guys back, hold these units back and prevent them from getting across to, to the goal line. But right now, it stands as a German decisive victory if these guys, if these units are able to hold on across the river. But we don't know, there's some more units coming up. So it's hard to know which way this game will go. It plays real well, plays fast, and it plays uh, with minimal rule. And um, uh, uh, the rules are not burdensome, but they're still enough that they make it play like a nice war game. So. Uh, the one page bulge has been very successful in my mind. I enjoy this game, so let's see what happens. Okay, here's the situation before the July to the December 23rd turn. We're going to have three air factors to use, 
and have some reinforcements coming in. And section all section A and B. A and all in section A up here. So have some more reinforcements coming. They might be able to drive the Germans back. The Germans have some reinforcements coming also uh, at the rear of the front. I don't know if they'll make it up in time to be an asset. We'll see. So, but there's still a strong German victory developing. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Here's the situation after the Germans December 23rd move and combat. Looks like they've um, advanced another group of units across the Meuse. Driven these units back, those eliminated, these were eliminated, and these were driven back. It looks still pretty dire and a possible German uh, decisive victory. Some more units coming up on the rear. Here's the situation after the Americans reinforcement and move before combat. So looking like it, in the mechanics of the game, losing American units is not going to be a victory point, but allowing the Germans to capture uh, uh, ammo supply points and drive across the Meuse it was loss of victory. So regardless of odds, I'm just committing these all units right here at the river to drive them back no matter what, and then creating a defense here that might keep these other units across, from crossing the Meuse. Okay, here's the situation after the Germans come, I mean, Americans combat. These units are attacking at a one-to-one -one odds. All of them were eliminated. So that's part of the problem of making this risk. You got a one rule on a one-to-one. -one. So the chances were good. You could actually definitely eliminate them, but uh, it was on the roll of a dice. But we had to, but I thought we had to take our chances. Now this may turn the battle. This piece right here, because that holds 32 factors with not much to oppose them, although or more reinforcements are coming in, but not strong enough. So that may have broken the back of the American defense on and created a victory. However, we did get this ammo supply point back, so that's 20 points down for the Germans. So still a possibility. And so the game still plays well getting close to the end. We'll see what happens. I'm still not sure what kind of victory, but it looks like some level of victory, probably decisive victory for the Germans. Okay, here's the situation before the December 24th turn. We have quite a few Germans across the Meuse. Some more coming up. Looks like the map is full of Germans. There are some reinforcements coming in on the 24th, but precious few. This looks like it's shaping up to be a major German victory. So we'll see only two air factors available for this turn. Okay, this is the situation after the Germans' movement. We still have units that are holding up the back here. Uh, driving, trying to drive these units back. Keep pushing the front, attacking these units here. Surrounding this one, trying to drive it off a of liege. Uh, and a significant th a thing and the battle is this bridge was blown early on and it keeps slowing down the movement. So for if the Americans do lose this battle, that's one thing to keep in mind and playing it again, knocking out, taking the time to knock out these uh, supply points and some bridges would make, it does make a significant difference in the Germans' abilities to make it to the Meuse. Okay, this is the situation after the Germans' combat. These units we were able to drive back the Germans and hold on to Liege. That's significant. Might keep another 20 points there, and they're still survived. Um, units lost here, lost there. These units were lost there. So, so one of the strategies maybe when playing this game again is try to avoid these automatic eliminations by stacking units. But even these stacked units were eliminated at a 4 to 1 odds. So there you go. That's the situation after the German. Okay, here's the situation after the Allied move and no combat. These guys are across the river. These units are across the river. We don't have to fight. Stack a couple units here to try to avoid that automatic elimination. And these guys, we, these units could be moved off of each, but that's such a good objective. They're just going to hold on and hope for the best. They'll end up with another 2 one attack when unable to retreat across the river. So, still might end in disaster, but they beat them off last time. So, just a skeleton crew here, we only had one unit come in, 
And not much coming in later. It still looks like shaping up to be a German victory. Okay, this is the situation before the December 25th turn in 1944. But the, that's the real game. But this game that I'm playing with this one-page bulge, it's a pretty bleak deep Christmas day with most of the German units across the Meuse. These units tenaciously holding on to Liege. And oh, just a few people here, a few units here trying to keep the, these Germans from succeeding in their objectives. So, well, I have to, if I play this game again, I'll have to find another strategy for the Allies, because this last one I used didn't work, evidently. Okay, this is the situation after the Germans move. The December 25th turn, we have more units across the Meuse. And we again attack these, these guys here trying to push them on a leash. And which was unsuccessful last time. These, ones, these units cross the river. These have crossed the river. And these are threatening to do so and holding on to supply lines back to the German reinforcement area. And this is before the combat. So we'll see what happens. Oh, okay, here's the situation after the German combat phase. Uh, this unit, these units in Liege were able to drive the current Germans off one more time. If they do it one more turn, and that saves 20 points lost, but units were lost here, and these and, and units lost here. These were drove across. These had, were able to retreat, but they still were driven driven across the Liege. So it looks like out the, all across the Meuse. I mean, so it looks like German victory is going to be pretty strong in this game. Okay, the situation after the December 25th turn for the Allies movement. No combat being anticipated. These guys are going to try to, these units are going to try to hold Liege. These ones moved away to try to do a desperate attempt to try to cut off some supply lines for the Germans. Although the German supply line can flow this way. So this unit here is going to hold a space on this side of the river while these units coming up can possibly attack across the river and he can make cut off the river advantage if someone moves to that his units move to block that bridge but <clears throat> it appears there's not much left to, for the allies to do to prevent a total german victory in this game okay here's the situation before the december 26th turn it's the last turn of this game um, have the units kind of laid out a little bit. You know, one unit shows where they are, but just shows what units are on these stacks. Uh, these are the ones that are across some views. This is before the Germans' movement. We're still trying to break the supply line here, and some units coming up from the south, but no supplies coming in. Looks like it's going to be a German victory, but we'll see you finish the game and find out. Okay, here's the situation after the German movement on the December 26th turn. I'm still trying to knock these units out of Liege. More units across the Meuse. These guys, these units attacking here, trying to confine them to prevent them from taking out, knocking out any German supply lines. And these units trying to trying to circumvent the, 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 uh, the American units coming up from the south. Okay, after the German combat phase, they finally did manage to take over. These units were de destroyed, and Liege was captured. Uh, there was a unit destroyed here, and they moved up. This unit was destroyed, they moved up. So, the Allies will have a movement turn, but it's pretty much game over. Okay, this is the last Allied turn, and I just, instead of vainly attacking here, I moved these units with the hope to knock off some, some German supply lines, if they could knock out these couple of these, these supply lines they might be able to isolate these units across the Meuse but really it's not it's hopeless because you'd have to knock out all these roads so just a futile move by the US allies and it looks like we have a complete German victory with enough units across you have to have 70 factors but with the capture of these 20 and there's 32 32 that's 64 right there and 84 right there not counting these units Looks like a decisive German victory in this game of Battle of the Bulge, one page bolt. So it was a lot of fun to play, and I learned if I was playing it again, 
or if I happen to play the Americans with another another buddy or somebody playing with um, one thing's strategy you want to have to do it really was helpful to knock out a bridge or two that bridge was knocked out that really slowed the advance of the Germans so knock out some of the bridges to, and knock out the supply depots those had points and group your units so that they're not subject to automatic elimination by small and small small forces to try to keep them in larger groups and that would be my strategy to try to have a better American defense next time around but anyway I highly recommend this game if anybody's able to get it still and, and reproduce it it's a lot of fun and playable fast and fast and feels like the Battle of the Bulge.